All right, some interesting stuff. I gotta give credit. This came from Neil Sean. Apparently, he got this story that King Charles is saying, you know what, Harry, you're saying I have to apologize, then you'll talk to me. It should be two ways. So why don't you guys talk to Thomas Markle? You reach out to him, which is really funny because it is the exact same pattern. He's saying we need an apology and then I'll talk to you, but they already have apologies from Thomas Markle. So why aren't they talking to him? Granted, King Charles and Thomas Markle both did nothing wrong. But I think what this does is it points out that everything Harry and Meghan do is about power. They are obsessed with controlling other people and power. I believe it started with Meghan, she imposed it on Harry, and now he has adopted her personality more and more and more. Reason being, again, Thomas Markle's already apologized over and over and over, so the way that they can have even more power Megan can have is, oh, I'll never talk to you. Keep groveling, right? So it's just the maximum power and control. Now, King Charles, it's apologize, apologize, apologize. If you want to see your son again, you need to apologize, right? So that's just such a gross thing to do, right? It's like your old, King Charles is older. Of course, you want a relationship with all your children. And it's using like that relationship just to try and exert power purely in ego, right? If you really, if you're Harry and you really want a relationship with King Charles, you are not going to have it completely based off of an apology or not. Now, there's something really important about this that we could all learn. Uh, King Charles, I doubt he's going to do the apology, which he absolutely should not. Harry, there's a 0% chance that he reaches out to Thomas Markle. I mean, he doesn't care to. There's no reason for him to do that other than being the right thing to do. But that does not matter to Harry and Meghan. There's no personal gain. But when it comes to apologizing, never apologize or almost never, unless it's like a small thing to smooth it out, never apologize when you didn't do something because that's an admission of guilt. If King Charles were to apologize for all this stuff he didn't do, then supporters of Harry and Meghan use that see, look, he did it, he's guilty, he's racist, he's this, he's that, right? It immediately can make that person wrong, especially when you have someone who doesn't genuinely want to reconcile. So keep that in mind. We see that a lot, right? People will apologize for things they didn't do, and it doesn't help them. They just now have given proof to their accusers that they are guilty. We've seen this a couple times, you know, people being accused of things, people being canceled. Once they apologize, it actually gets worse and worse and worse, right? Because people just, they go for it. They go for the juggler then. Another thing is again, Harry announced to everybody that he's going to be calling up King Charles for his birthday, which is ridiculous. Again, they're, we need our privacy. We hate leaks. It goes back to, again, it's all about control. If we are leaking and telling the press what we want, having the photos taken that we want, that is great. But if someone else does it, they are a monster. What I find irritating about this is just the manipulation. Like, if you have like a pure narcissist, right? Like, or someone's got an ego. Let me think of an example, like Paris Hilton back in the day. I don't know if she's even a narcissist, but it's like, I love attention. I want you to all see me. I can almost appreciate that, right? Or if someone gets mad at people giving stories they don't like, and there's like, F you, F this, F that. But it's so annoying to play both sides, to act like someone who speaks to the press, or if the press does something they don't like, or if Thomas Markle wants to control his image a little bit, that they're a terrible person. Just the hypocrisy and the ridiculousness of it is huge. Apparently, again, Harry and Meghan also leaked details of the phone call. Where else would that come from? We know King Charles is not leaking it. So again, they're doing what they say they hate. More of the same, and it's now their new consistent strategy, which is to use indirect means, to use proxies to attack the royal family and or to bolster their own image. Thanks for watching.